Hey, what's going on guys? Caucasian Mark here, whitest dude on the internet. Today we're doing something pretty sweet. We're going to be working with columns. Now, as you can see below, let me come over here. I generated probably more uh, lorem ipsum than I probably need to. So let me actually go in here and delete some of this out. This may be easier to show if I have less in here. Sometimes you get a little bit carried away. Come in here, refresh. Still gratuitous amount. What we're going to learn today is how to, whoa, that's a little too much there. We're going to learn how to break up a paragraph or um, a P tag into multiple paragraphs. There's multiple ways of doing it, but I'm going to show you um, one particular um, procedure for getting it right here. So we see we have um, some paragraphs here in Lorem Ipsum. There's a generator online if you just type it in Lorem Ipsum gemer, uh, Generator. And I gave it a class uh, newspaper here where you could do you know, columns, we could call it columns. And so we could come over here into our CSS and target that class. And what we want to do down here as well and break it up, let's just do it into two columns. We could do one here and then one here as well. So there's some ways of doing this. There's kind of a, a default way, right? We could go into here and do a thing called column count. We could do two. Drop down in here and we see that we split it up into two columns down here. Now that's cool and everything, but we have to keep in mind that certain browsers will do certain things differently. So we kind of have to cover our butts when it comes to it. Um, like some styles we've seen before, we kind of have a, a catch-all down below but above, you kind of want to be as specific as possible. So if we were wanting to execute the same thing for, say, um, you know, Safari or Opera or Chrome, we would do, we would type this in. We would do uh, the WebKit column count, and then two. And then if we wanted to do it for Firefox, we would write essentially the same thing in here as well. We refresh it and it's the same thing here. So this is one way of splitting it all up. So if I wanted to do it into three, I'd come down in here and we'd split it up into three. Now that's pretty cool, especially if you don't want to, I guess, do a like a P tag here, then another one, then try lining them up and making sure everything flows together nicely. And then sometimes we resize the page, so this middle paragraph may fudge and go down or over more. So it's kind of a, a nice way of taking the data or the media or whatever you have, and it kind of does that auto lineup feature for you. And that's really important to uh, keep in mind, especially if you're writing a larger body of work as well. Or say you're, um, for some odd reason, writing some kind of a larger work uh, on HTML, you want to present it as kind of like a web paper. Or something along those lines. Now, there's other things we could do with these uh, gaps. Is uh, well, we could do gaps. That's where I'm going next. But the other things we do with the columns, and that's one thing we do is we, uh, we could create a gap. So actually, before we do this here, let me go up to the top and just for good housekeeping, type in what these are good for. We got that here. This is obviously going to be Firefox, which is a pretty dope browser. I like it. Just type anyway. Cool, awesome, sexy. Let's keep going. So the next thing we want to do is to create a gap here. So we could do a column gap. You can see that the autofill is coming in. We can do something like, let's just do 25 pixels and see what happens with this. We see that there's a bigger gap here. Now let's try to accentuate it a bit more. Let's do something like 38 pixels. Remove that character there. And we see that there's more of a gap here. This is kind of nice because um, you may want more space in between your paragraphs so it's easier on the reader or depending upon the space, whatnot. But even if we were to do something like that, uh, we still have to follow the, the rules and come in here and type out you know, the WebKit column gap and 38 pixels. 
come down here and do the one for uh, Firefox. And it follows the same line of logic as from top down, down to here as well, so I'm not going to retype the comments here. It just flows the same logically. And so there's other um, things we could do as well. Um, one thing we could do is we could have a, a rule in between the paragraphs as well, or the columns, I should say. So we could come in here and column, let's just do double, why not? And we can see we have these visual indicators here and right here that breaks it up for us. Um, in some particular cases, this is nice. I know readers like myself, um, as much as I like reading, sometimes it's nice to have um, s some line or some shape kind of directing my eyes or breaking things up so you don't get overwhelmed or you just, you know, when you skim, you start flying all over the page. I don't know. I guess I'm a weird reader. I have no idea. But once again, we still have to come down in here and let's do, let's just try copying some of this up here. Come on in, column, do a little style, double. And even if you don't remember the top two, it may work for you just fine, but it's just nice to have these you know, built-in um, styles as well, just in case there's some issue with this down here. Because even though there may be a latest edition of a browser says we play, or we not play, but we read all the scripts and styles correctly, that's not always a given case. Um, some websites just suck ass. So it's nice to um, just kind of buff up your uh, styles a little bit just to kind of protect your website because you, you have no clue issues you know, may happen. But this is the uh, columns. It's kind of neat. Uh, I haven't really had to use it much. But judging from, say, if I had wanted to do a blog or if I had a client who had a lot of writing and they wanted to submit it online, not just in a PDF, but maybe just a, a page in general, this is a nice way of breaking up all the text and having it flow rather nicely. Um, plus, like I said, it, it lines it up very, very well. There's no additional work you have to do. And plus, the little uh, rules in the middle and the different styles you can do with those uh, makes it much easier on the reader and the person looking at it to go through uh, you know what's been written. So anyways, good stuff there. Columns, look it up, have fun. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that other jazz. Uh, it's Caucasian Mark, and I'll see you in the next awesome video.